In this video, I'm going to review the top five climate battery greenhouse builds on YouTube. So what on earth is a climate battery? Well, we all know what a battery is. Basically, it's an energy storage device. So what's a climate battery? In a nutshell, a climate battery is a battery that stores heat, because heat is energy, right? And um, the climate part? Well, heat lets you make your own climate inside. That's how it works. Anybody can grow in the summer. The key is to be able to grow in the winter. The best way to be able to do that affordably, and that's the key word here, affordably, is a climate battery. What one calls a climate battery, another might call a geo-air greenhouse, and then another a GAT system. There's also the term earth battery and low-grade geothermal. They all refer to pretty much the same thing. A device that uses very little energy to heat a greenhouse in the winter, drawing heat from the ground as a thermal battery. Most systems take the excess heat from the inside of a greenhouse in the summer during the day to charge the battery and draw on that heat in the evening at night to heat the greenhouse when it's colder and there's no sunlight to rely on. Stay tuned as I'm going to review the top five climate battery greenhouse YouTubers in this video. The first is the grandfather of climate batteries, Russ Finch from Citrus in the Snow. Russ designed a 12-month geothermal greenhouse in Alliance, Nebraska, 26 years ago when he retired from the post office. As the name implies, he grows citrus in Nebraska with his greenhouses. Eight feet down, the ground heat is stable at 52 degrees Fahrenheit in Nebraska, and Russ uses only the ground heat plus whatever passive solar heat he can get on winter days to heat his greenhouses to grow oranges, figs, grapes, pomegranates, etc. in Nebraska. Yep, Nebraska. His six inch wide tubes run 90 feet out from the greenhouse, picking up the ground heat. The greenhouse design uses a solar greenhouse layout and new prototypes not only insulate the north wall, but make it reflective as well to increase limited winter light for better growing. There's an old business line that says, you either gotta be first or best. 26 years later, Russ Finch's greenhouse is still both. Russ actually sells plans and full greenhouse kits on his website. And I've included links to the Greenhouse in the Snow website below, as well as a link to an amazing YouTube video documentary on Russ Finch by Kirsten Dirksen. Next, we review LDS Prepper's Geo Air Greenhouse. David Gilmore, known as LDS Prepper on YouTube, built a four season greenhouse in Idaho Falls, Idaho, with new material most anyone can pick up from the local hardware store for less overall cost than anyone else has ever done on YouTube before. A start to finish video series with follow up the year later showing the greenhouse still in operation, David uses a slightly different approach than Citrus in the Snow. LDS Prepper's greenhouse earth tubes are all underneath the greenhouse itself at eight feet and five feet down with insulation on the side walls to help contain the heat. David's Geo Air greenhouse doesn't just use the ground heat, but it actually charges the ground with the hot air from the greenhouse during the day, heating up the earth and then it uses that heat later to heat the greenhouse at night. Initially, David's greenhouse was just a twin poly inflated greenhouse. But months later, he insulates the north wall to more of a solar greenhouse design and gets a much better performance in the winter. Some of the innovations David employs are simple, but yet nothing less than genius. My favorite in innovation is sliding styrofoam hardboards under the greenhouse frame poles on top of the air inflated poly to make an R20 insulated north wall for less cost than anyone could ever dream possible. David hasn't uploaded in a while now, please come back. You had one of the best channels on YouTube. Your innovations and insight are incredible. The urban farmer, Curtis Stone, and his overbuilt geothermal greenhouse has to be mentioned here. Curtis has probably done more for market gardeners in Canada and all over the world than anyone else on YouTube. Curtis shows us how it is possible to make a really good living on an acre or two of land that you don't even have to own. He travels the world documenting other small farmers like himself crushing it. Yeah, I know I hate that term too, but 
He uses it a lot, and I'm reviewing Curtis here, so it had to be said. He also holds valuable seminars and lessons, teaching how to become profitable on a small piece of land, growing all kinds of stuff. The urban farmer, Curtis Stone, built an earth battery greenhouse, and honestly, it's pretty sweet. By his own admission, he overbuilt it, structurally and budget-wise. But it's in his backyard, and honestly, every once in a while, you just gotta splurge on yourself, since he spends a lot of his time in this thing, and clearly has the money for it. The urban farmer used some budget-friendly things like double air-blown poly in his geothermal air exchanger greenhouse, and it looks like it's been working great for him all four seasons of the year. Note, he's in Canada, so that's no small feat either. The underground setup isn't much different than LDS preppers, even if the above ground part is rather high end. You have to check out the Urban Farmers channel if you're interested in anything growing, as long as you can get past his whining about YouTube not paying him enough money. Thank you, Curtis, for an incredible channel that has in fact done a lot to help change the world for the better. Please keep posting your amazing videos. Okay, I have a soft spot for St. Isidore's Farm and their Earth Battery Greenhouse. This is a family of seven living on an old 20-acre homestead in North Carolina. St. Isidore's Farm didn't really do anything revolutionary with it. Overall, it's very similar again to LDS Prepper's Geo Air Greenhouse. But they did it, and they did it well. It's a fine example of how watching YouTube can guide you how to make most anything. What really got me though is how they dug the hole. They used a small farm tractor. And since I also own a small farm tractor very similar to theirs, they stole my heart. As I had planned to hire an excavator. But after watching them, I realized I didn't have to hire a hoe. Someone told me once, whenever you don't have to pay for a hoe, it's always a good thing. St. Isidore's farm has a ton of videos documenting the entire construction process of their earth battery double poly wall greenhouse from digging the hole to installing the earth tubes to building the greenhouse. I love how they show you the final product at the end and follow up months later too on the greenhouse's operation. Personally, I think maybe they should look at using styrofoam on their north wall like LDS Prepper did for better winter heat retention. But other than that, I gotta say, I really enjoyed watching their videos and they did a fantastic job. This is a YouTube channel you really should subscribe to and follow. I don't think we can properly review YouTubers talking about geothermal greenhouses without mentioning Verge Permaculture. Rob and Michelle Avis created a YouTube channel all about permaculture and have interviewed a pile of working climate battery greenhouses in Canada. Rob gets into technical details on every video, bragging about his engineering degree, something he rarely forgets to remind you of, and actually, for a gear, does a pretty good job at explaining everything. He's recently started doing courses teaching people about permaculture and energy conservation, and with the exposure he's had in the last 10 years, he might actually be able to impart some decent knowledge there now. He's even got videos specifically on how to design climate battery greenhouses. I've enjoyed his reviews and learnt a few things from him. I find Rob tends to be a little bit more energy conscious than ROI aware. In his focus though, a common engineer thing, but he's actually been getting a lot better on that. Overall, there's a lot of really good knowledge on this channel, and if you're thinking of building a climate battery greenhouse, you really need to spend a little time with Verge Permaculture. I'm going to make a point here about something that's been really pissing me off. Every so often I see a negative remark about one of these YouTubers' religion in their comments section of a video. What on earth does their religious beliefs have to do with their greenhouse, growing, or any of the gardening wisdom they are presenting? I don't see how someone's religion changes the value of information they have provided for you, for your benefit, for free, in any way. I may or may not agree with someone's religious beliefs, but it doesn't change the value of the information they're presenting, especially when they don't bring up religion in their presentation. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching my review of five climate battery greenhouse YouTubers and learned a thing or two. If you like this video and videos like this, you can actually communicate with YouTube's AI by telling it this is the topic you want to see more of. The way you do that is when you hit free buttons such as subscribe, like, share, or the bell, you actually communicate to YouTube's AI that these are the kind of videos you want more of and YouTube's AI will actually respond by suggesting more videos just like this for you to watch.
Don't forget to leave a comment telling me what your favorite climate battery is and where to find it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.